Hello everybody, in this video I will try to make some container heater which is in basic some heater put on this container and this container heater can be used for small reactions for example like chemical temperature uh, activation of materials or something similar but for heater reaction with uh, some acids or uh, alkalines you need to use some teflon container but I will try to make some uh, container heater out from this container some basic uh, this container is made from stainless steel and the stainless steel is of course conductive uh, so you see that I coated this container with some uh, isolator uh, in basic this is some kind of coating for high temperatures and on this on this uh, container I will put two copper strips for the electrodes so basically you have two options to put the copper electrodes on this heater the one option is that you put it one copper strip here and another here the second option is if you put the copper strips like this and then this side will be coated with some conductive ink but in this project I will tape these copper strips uh, here and here So now I add these two copper strips on this container. Really awesome. And now I will cover these surfaces. I isolate the edges and now I will coat this section with the conductive ink. And I paint the entire uh, container uh, but you see that this ink have some large particles inside uh, this is because I made this ink uh, for ear panels and into the ink I add some uh, large ceramic pieces for increasing the surface area uh, of the ear panel so that's why we have this ink, uh, this structure. Now I will dry this ink and then I will go to the next step. The ink is dry and I get this. Really awesome. So what I need to do right now is that I need to isolate this surface. And I will isolate with this uh, ceramic fiber.
Now I need to cut uh, some ceramic fiber for the bottom. And that's it. Now I will connect this container heater uh, with my power supply. And to test it, I will put in some urea and I will seal it. And the voltage which I will use is 24 volts and 3.5 amps. So I will see if this power will be enough uh, to melt urea. Uh, if not, I will add the power. After 10 minutes, uh, the voltage goes down to 14 uh, volts. So I increase the amps. Uh, right now I have 14 volts and 4 amps. And the outside is 100 degrees C. So anyway, I will leave it for 5 to 10 minutes and then I will open the container and I will see what I get. That I put some sticky tape uh, around this heater was not a really good idea because here the tape starts to melt. Yeah almost uh, 130 degrees C. Okay, now I will disconnect this container heater and I will see what I will get. Okay. But I will not open here. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, it's hot. So, if I leave this for longer time, uh, then actually I will get some uh, graffiti carbon nitrate or if I apply more power. So definitely this was a really nice project. And yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.